right on that same spot. Another really nice one, although, or better one at least. This one on the chartreuse. Look at the weight on that fish. It's not a big fish, but it is full of eggs. Welcome to another episode of the Brandywine Angler. It is a really beautiful day. I'm looking at uh, 55 degrees on the car thermometer headed to 60 and I'm going to take a shot on seeing if we can catch some yellow perch on their spawning run down on the upper part of the eastern shore of Maryland. From what I've heard, the spawning run had started a little bit late, but it was it was happening. Then there were a lot of big rains uh, end of last week. I tried it on Sunday. I have some video from that, but it's not very exciting because I didn't catch a darn thing. So my guess is that the lack of clarity and certainly the volume of water too probably put the fish off. I'm hoping that with four days, no rain, a couple of warmer days in that mix, that the fish are back in their active ways and that we can catch a few. So I've got a handful of uh, bull minnows, handful of night crawlers, and then the classic float and fly presentation, some crystal jigs, all the stuff that typically works. We'll get out there and we'll try whatever we need to try to see if we can catch a fish today. And uh, we'll see you when we're down there. Just giving you a look at the rig. I've got a little double jig drop shot. Some bite em bait stinger tails here. I'm gonna try orange on the top, chartreuse on the bottom. I'm down to a drop shot weight. Although you don't really need a fancy drop shot weight. You can just use a little uh, sinker, a couple split shots. It'll work right just the same. All right, let's see what, uh, what catches these fish. All right, we got incoming tide couple guys here in a canoe when I pulled up said they were catching fish and the tide was really pushing these fish up and uh, they were quote just trying to keep up with them as they moved up so that's interesting and that there were some nice sized yellow perch in the mix so we shall see it's a little windy as you can probably hear and I apologize for that Oh, there was a hit. Yeah, they're fish here. First cast hit. I'm going to try working without live bait if I can to start. It's just a little easier to not have to deal with it. Really beautiful day. Now over 60 degrees. First really warm day in the area. I'm wondering if that's going to get these... There's a fish. thought I had a hit and then I wasn't sure and... But I did. All right. Let's wet my hand here. Take care of these fish on the green, on the chartreuse. Little guy. There he is. Little guy. Female. Just about to release that row. Get back in there. All right. So they're here. And they weren't, she wasn't far out. She was, you know, just right here on the edge and close. Not surprising, that's very common. There we go. Oh, mister. Another little guy. There's a little hole out here. And sometimes fish really, you know, stack up in that hole. Let's see if I can get into some of those fish. I think part of the reason that this spot is a nice little spot is there's a little creek that feeds in and I think it scours out a little spot right at the mouth of the creek where it's deeper and I think those fish hold in there now if they're really on the move I don't you know they're not really hunkered down and holding but they're not going to be just steady swimming they're going to swim for a bit and then rest for a bit at least in my understanding and they're going to probably find those holes 
or areas where if you can get a little eddy or something where there's some depth so they can stay out of the current when they're resting. There's a fish, that was a nice hit. Oh yeah, good, better fish, better fish. No huge one, but a pretty nice hefty one. Beautiful, on the orange. So equal opportunity so far. So let's see what we got on the board. This is, you know, nine inches. Nine inches on the board, that's not, not too bad. Pretty, pretty fish. Hard to beat a yellow perch when it comes to fish looking pretty. And they're spawning colors with the real orange fins. Gorgeous. All right. Go make some more yellow perch. Ah, it was a hit there. Again, with this double jig drop shot, you're just casting out. You let it sink to the bottom. Once you're on the bottom, you just start moving it back real slowly. Work your rod, make those jigs dance while you have that drop shot dragging across the bottom. You have to sort of fool around with your retrieve pace. Missed another fish there. Fool around with your retrieve pace. There's a fish. Figure out are they want it moving a little faster, a little slower. What, what are they in for? On the chartreuse, another little guy. This looks maybe a spawned out fish. I don't see any milt. No, it's, it's a female. She's still got some roe. All female so far. Interestingly, two on the chartreuse and one on the orange. So no distinct color preference yet. Also, fish white a fair amount, so that's another option. Maybe 10 minutes to catch those three fish, that's pretty good. Hit almost every cast. They're here, there she is, oh, missed them. Seems like I'm getting a lot of attention right closer to the shore, not so much farther out. I caught my personal best fish our personal best yellow perch here last season it was 14 inches on the board. So a legit 14 inch yellow perch right here, like right on the edge of the of the shore. So you don't have to be way out in the middle. At least some days. Just all depends. I think you need depth. I haven't seen these fish caught a lot in a foot, six inches of depth. Much more likely to see these fish caught, you know, in two feet, three feet of depth or more. Well, that was a little tap, missed them. Wasn't really a good hit. It was just like a little breathed on it almost. Sort of depends on the day and the conditions, but occasionally, you know, you're just feeling for any kind of little tick or touch or something feels heavy and um, Occasionally that can be challenging because you got to decipher the difference between the drop shot weight dragging along the bottom and a hit. Not always easy, but other days they're really uh, aggressive and they come up and whack it like that bigger yellow perch I had a minute or two ago did. The other thing I've noticed is I think these fish move in waves. You know, you'll, you'll get some action and then it quiets down for a little bit and then another bit of action. I think that's waves of fish coming up. Then they move on and you have to kind of wait for the next wave. All right, so I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but there's a big pot of uh, killifish or, you know, bull minnows right there, mama chogs. Uh, and that is what these fish are, are eating, or at least what we're replicating when we're fishing with these soft plastics or crystal jigs or obviously live minnows. There we are. That was a good hit. Oh, nicer fish. Nicer fish. There we go. Good one. So that's interesting. The two small fish I've caught on the on the green, the two bigger fish on the yellow. Or I'm sorry, the orange. I wonder if that's just dumb luck or if there's some pattern to that. Both the bigger fish thumped it. All right. What do we have here on this fish? That's well, a little better fish, 10 or so. 
A 9 and a 10 out of the gate. That's pretty good. I'd like to see some 11s and 12s, but or bigger. But 9s and 10s are good. And keepers, if you were keeping, which I'm not. I am not a big believer in keeping these spawning run fish. When I was a little kid, we used to keep a lot of spawning run fish, and everybody used to keep a lot of spawning run fish. And then the yellow perch got pretty darn scarce for a while. And they seem to have come back very well, but my thought is, if we're gonna keep a yellow perch, let's not keep them in their spawning run. Let's let them have their spawn and create some new generations of fish out there for us to enjoy. So both of the good fish have come. There's a little ledge right out in front of here where it goes from being deeper and it kind of ledges up a foot or two. And I think I've caught both of those fish that were bigger fish somewhere around that ledge. I think they might be running along that ledge. And that's been a good spot over the years. Sometimes we'll get up in the real up on the up on top of the ledge in the shallow water, but I think more typically you catch them right along the edge of the ledge. It's not much structure, but it's just enough probably. Right on that same spot, another really nice one, although or better one at least. This one on the chartreuse. Look at the weight on that fish. It's not a big fish, but it is full of eggs. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. See the belly is just loaded with eggs. All right, I'm just gonna measure you here. Yeah, that's a pretty good fish. That's 10, so that's two 10s. Really beautiful. Off you go. Beautiful. Right on that ledge again. Right on that ledge. That one on the chartreuse, not on the orange. So we've broken our pattern of all the bigger fish all on the orange. No sense in casting all over the creek if the fish are gonna be right on this ledge in front of me. There's another one. <laughs> that's an even, oh, that's a, pretty, that's a pretty good fish right there, folks. My goodness. I don't think that's a 14, but that's a nice fish. Pretty heavy too. That's a really beautiful yellow perch. Now nah, that's a, a it's 11, not a not anything huge, but that's a really good fish. Just so you guys can see, 11 and a, 11 and a half actually. But that's a, that's that's why we come out for these things. Beautiful, beautiful fish. All right. Off you go. Gorgeous. Just right on this ledge out in front of me. Just a little flip. Drop it down. That time I wasn't even moving it. I just let it go to the bottom and was kind of just doing the little jig in place routine that you can do with a drop shot and felt a little weight on there and there she was. I caught more fish but the quality was definitely there some really nice yellow perch this afternoon really enjoyed being outside on this beautiful beautiful day they're they're out there folks uh, and they're gonna be spawned out and headed back down before too long so got to strike while the irons hot get out there catch yourself some yellow perch this spring and until next time as always I'm the Brandywine angler see you soon